Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today and taking a look at Screenly for your digital signage solution. So OSE is a simpler kind of standalone version of Screenly, which is expected to run on a dedicated piece of hardware, which is the Raspberry Pi, and it's maintained also by Screenly. The OSE version is great for a single standalone screen, but Pro gives you the ability to manage multiple screens. I'm going to have a look at the open source edition today. If you're interested in following along and playing with the quick demo, there is also a version online you can get at ose.demo.screenlyapp.com you can download two different ways option one is download the custom image from the github releases the links here on the screenly.io forward slash ose page follow through that guide get the sd install guide if you've never installed a image before burn it with something like etcher.io this is for windows linux and mac and you just drag and drop the zip file into this program and burn that onto the device. Or option two, install Screenly OSE yourself and configure the Raspberry Pi. So if you've already got an existing installation of Raspberry and Jesse Lite, do be aware it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to install if you're going to do it that way. But once you've done the burning process of the zip file, go to wizard.screenly.io, click on configure Wi-Fi, put in your SSID and your passphrase and tick on DHCP so it gets a IP address for your local network but that's configured to be able to connect to the internet as well and you can do that for wired connection if you need to do manual just untick you can put the IP address netmask and gateway here let's have a look at the Screenly OSE interface this is connected over my local network so you can see the IP address up here and you can see we've got an active assets and inactive assets Here's some basic settings that you might need to know about. You've got on and off for the show splash screen. The splash screen is actually not the boot splash screen that pops up with the screen graphic, but it's rather the navigation page that you see with the IP address. Obviously, you don't want to be sharing the IP address of that unit to people if you're going to use this in a live situation. Shuffle playlist on and off. So instead of it just going through in order, you can shuffle and pick one at random. The audio output, you can have just through the HDMI cable or if you want it through the 3.5 millimeter to jack you can also do that you can set the duration of the default content that you put up so if you put an image up for instance that normally defaults to 60 i've changed that to 300 in here 24 hour clock and also debugging you probably only use the debugging if you're having problems with the system so there's three different types of content that you can upload to the screenly system a video an image or a web page we're going to do the image first okay so we're going to do lunchtime menu you can select here if you want to upload via URL. So if you have it at a public URL somewhere on the web, you can drop that in here, but I'm actually going to upload it. Selecting the type image, I'm going to set the date for today and I'm going to set it for a week from now. You can use these cursors to set the time that you want. And then you'll see it's very fast because I'm uploading that image from my computer to the Raspberry Pi on my local network. So super, super fast. And you'll notice that right now it's inactive. So I have to click on this on button and then that pushes it to the active assets. That basically means it's in a queue and will display it on my screen. Same thing for a video. So I'm going to call this big book trailer. I'm going to select a video. I'm also going to leave those default. I might actually put it for next week. The only difference with video is you'll get this little prompt to the bottom here that says use zero to auto detect video length. So you don't have to worry about setting the duration. This is a 30 meg 1920 by 1080 dot movie file. Best to have everything as full HD. And you can see it's very quick, even though it's 30 meg file, super fast over my network. I'm going to enable this as well by clicking on. And you'll notice that there's three little lines by the side of each one of these images image and video I can grab that and I can put that at the top and these will go through in order in settings you have that shuffle feature as well finally you can put in a web page select on web page and then we can do the same thing again it will display this web page so it goes away in real time grabs that web page so you have to have internet access obviously and then displays it for a certain amount of time so this is really useful if you want to show dashboards or images or something from maybe social media really nice way of capturing and displaying real-time content I hope you enjoyed that little walk around Screenly open source edition. Great for a single standalone screen, but Pro gives you the ability to manage multiple screens. So if you've got a restaurant chain or a cafe business in multiple locations, Screenly's digital signage is perfect for that. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you soon.